morning to all uh, who are listening to this video. Uh, this video is especially uh, going to be important for those uh, students, first year MBBS students, who are going to appear at in a very short while because uh, as the uh, pandemic is uh, receding, uh, all of the country uh, colleges are opening up and uh, maybe within the next three to four months time they are going to appear exams. And uh, since uh, this year we do not, uh, we could not have much uh, theory classes, I mean contact classes, though, if, though we have uh, theory classes online, but we do not have much contact classes, the real life classes. So therefore I am um, uh, bringing up the small uh, suggestions for all those MBBS students who are going to have exams, uh, or you can call it as a tips for your Viva exams. So. In Viva exams, how to prepare for a Viva exam? So, if you want to know how to prepare for a Viva exam, just keep watching this video. So, let us begin the video. So, uh, whenever you come to appear in Viva exam, keep in mind that teacher who is going to take a Viva, uh, actually he don't have the time to read. Uh, or uh, he is not prepared that what he is going to ask you. Okay, uh, this question should be uh, uh, actually he don't come prepared. He mean, uh, so he will uh, begin with uh, topics he is he recently taught in his uh, college or the topics in which he is interested, which he knows more about, and which he is thorough and interested. And uh, another point is. The question papers that you appear, uh, those questions because the teacher, when he arrives for a Viva exam, he uh, gets those uh, question papers and answer scripts for checking and he starts that. So, he uh, certainly he will ask questions from the questions uh, papers that were asked in your theory exams. So, please do not skip uh, going through once your question papers and especially those questions which you could not answer properly in the exam please go through once again and uh, be ready with that and uh, usually when we ask uh, questions in viva we don't want to uh, 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 i don't expect from you to remember each and every steps of the metabolic reactions by chemical reactions but what we want is overall understanding of the subject, how much you can comprehend the subject. So we test actually the understanding of the subject, how much uh, the knowledge, the basic knowledge one has. So uh, please try to uh, uh, read and try to assimilate, try to correlate one topic with another and uh, uh, so that you have that overall comment on the subject. And uh, of course, uh, some recall questions will be asked uh, when we are not able to answer uh, certain uh, questions. We will always come down to the uh, lower level uh, by asking simple questions uh, which you can answer by recalling your memories. And uh, one point, uh, many of the times students used to just go to uh, superficially uh, touching all the topics uh, for the Viva, but uh, do not do like that. You study thoroughly as much topics as you can, so that if you ask which topic you are uh, comfortable with, which topic you have studied, or which topic you know uh, well, you can you tell, then uh, you can suggest topics and the uh, teacher will start asking questions from that. And uh, metabolism is the core uh, uh, area where questions uh, are asked from because we want to see the uh, understanding of the metabolism, metabolic pathways, uh, carbohydrate, fats and protein metabolisms. And while discussing uh, this metabolic pathways, the teachers will always uh, be uh, take you to the vitamins or uh, you'll ask about the core factors, core enzymes and you'll go to vitamins and uh, you know, uh, uh, of course you can also go to the enzymes 
engine classification, engine classes, uh, and uh, coenzymes, cofactors, like that too, is data associated your metabolic pathways. So, enzymes are also a very important uh, part uh, uh, where you will ask the biochemical roles of that particular vitamins. Or, I mean, I have to call vitamins, yes, biochemical roles of vitamins, uh, or biochemical functions of vitamin A, biochemical functions of vitamin C, and biochemical functions of vitamin D, like that. So, enzymes, vitamins, and uh, coenzymes, cofactors, then comes electron transport chain, these are all related to your metabolism. And uh, uh, other parts in molecular biology, uh, it lets you should know the basic concepts of molecular biology, then the uh, recombinant DNA technology, tools of DNA recombinant DNA technology, PCR, then the cloning and the uh, common techniques that are used in uh, molecular biology or the tools of molecular biology. Hope this video will be helpful to you. All the best for your sense.